Welcome to Arena. I'm Travis Oates. And I'm Dave Cox, sitting in for Will Wheaton, who's on location. That's right. We have a new host. We also have a new writer, which I'm very excited about. I mean, Arena's known for its humor, so let's see what this guy can do, huh? It sure is. Today on Arena, Team UMM returns to face their final challenger, Team Judgment Day. It's very exciting, because win or lose, UMM is not coming back. They'll be retired to the Arena Hall of Champions, along with our previous champions, Team Iron. Wait a minute. You left Team Iron out in the hall? In the Hall of Champions, yes. It's been months. Please tell me you've been feeding them. No, I've kept them in cryogenic freeze until their fracking skills are needed once more. I've also prepared some more tubes in case Team UMM is victorious tonight. Now let's get on with the show. Why don't you break down the scoring system for our loyal viewers? As usual, in each match, there are five possible points to be won. Each match is broken up into three games, which are broken into three rounds. The team which wins the most points will advance to the next match. Points are awarded based on the following criteria. Each game is worth one point, the team with the most total accumulated kills will win one point, and the team with the most valuable player will win the final point. If you missed that, please send a letter to the White House and you can get an autographed picture of the President. Now, let's meet our players. It's Edward Escobar, the drone. It's Anthony Bell, a face monkey. It's Donovan Salser, it's Tactical Frostbite. Mia Varney, badly drawn blonde. Eddie Gonzalez, Stephen Wong, a young blood. Martin Delgado, Agent X, Steven, Sci Fi. Since those eager beavers can't seem to wait, Travis, why don't you show us today's first arena in Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast? Located on a moon orbiting Yavin 4, this temple was once used by the Rebel Alliance as a secret base and almost was destroyed by the Galactic Empire. Due to its unique history, property values have skyrocketed, though interested buyers should note that this moon has become a huge tourist attraction and home to today's arena. What do you think an arena like that costs? Well, at least a couple million credits. Those be Imperial or Alliance credits? Alliance, obviously, they need the cash. Let's see how that temple holds up under a full-scale Capture the Flag match. One. Round one starts with Space Monkey exiting the UMM base while AX guards the JMD flag. Space Monkey is uh, showing gladly drawn blonde the way to the courtyard since she's never played here before. Oh, how oh, polite. Yeah, that's so sweet. I hear they're going to prom. <laughs> In the courtyard, Young Bud was shooting at uh, someone with a holocron. Holocron, by the way, enables you to use any force power at full strength for about 20 seconds. Sci-Fi now has picked up the flag uh, and is heading back into the red base. Hmm. Which but is exciting for me because it's somebody who's not UMM doing something right for a change. Exactly. Which is, but, oh, well, well, almost right. Mm, almost right, mm, not for long. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like uh, the drone is being his useful self and is uh, blowing away himself. Oh, I'm no, sorry. Oh, well. I oh. actually thought that uh, the drone was, I was going to say how well he was doing, and then he got cut down by a lightsaber. Way to make mm. me look bad, drone. Meanwhile, Tastical Frostbite has got the red flag and is uh, running like a little Jedi bunny. Hmm, skipping merrily across towards home. Looks like he's made it home and uh, doesn't have any resistance whatsoever. No resistance at all. And easily makes a flag capture. Meanwhile, Sci-Fi is going to make another try here at the blue flag. Mm, how long will this one last? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The last one was about, what, four seconds? So. About four. Ah, that one was about five seconds. About five seconds. So he's increased his time by 25%. <laughs> that would be very impressive if it was uh, not seconds. We're dying. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Tactical Frostbite uh, blew away an opponent and has grabbed the red flag and is heading it back into UMM's base. Mm -hmm. Where is Youngblood during all this? I bet Youngblood wants to know. <laughs> Youngblood is waiting for Tactical Frostbite, and the two of them exchange fire. Uh, but Tactical Frostbite seems rather uninterested uh, in any of Youngblood's doings. <laughs> Looks like Frostbite scores again, and UMM wins this round 2-0. Two. Two. Alright, round 2 starts with the drone already navigating the temple halls. Sci-Fi looks like he's gonna guard the red flag. Then, uh, decides better of it and uh, follows the rest of Team Judgment Day toward the heart of the temple. Sure, because sometimes you want to guard and sometimes you just want to run blindly with your pack. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you feel like Tactical Frostbite, who looks like he's headed right for the flag again. He's got it and is headed back towards the UMM base. Does Tactical Frostbite ever get bored with his own competence? That's what I'm trying to do. I don't wonder. think so. Oh, but hey, he did right just... there as AX mowed him down. It sure did. And badly drawn blonde, just taking some pot shots. She's got a, uh, she's got some high ground there, and she's gonna put it to good use. 
The weird thing, I didn't see who she was firing. Uh, no, well, you know, there's just a whole bunch of people down there. Oh, One of them has to be boy. on somebody else's team. Hey, X, just cut Frostbite down there. Yeah, but it took three of them to take Frostbite down. True. Sci-fi uh, found that running the gauntlet of death is not a good way to grab the flag. When, when is the gauntlet of death ever a good thing? Mm, you ever been to my house for a party? I have. You know what? I love your gauntlet of death. Yeah, hey, wait! <laughs> Meanwhile, Incertain is uh, uh, running into the fray while Space Monkey has got the red flag and is heading into the blue base. Hmm, will he make it? Or... Oh! Well, oh, no, what's, oh, oh flag oh, carriers! Oh, oh it's Space what? Monkey killed the flag carry and returned the blue flag and moved up and got a capture. Space Monkey is a one-man army. Hmm, he's pretty valuable. Hmm. Okay, there's young blood. <laughs> Grabbing the blue flag, leaping down, just ro rolling, rolling, rolling. You can't be hit me if I'm jumping. Rolling you can't hit down me if the I'm jumping. river? Uh, hmm. The obscure reference. Uh, look it up, children. <laughs> uh, young blood. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I don't know why he didn't run for his base, but yeah. tapped around that just long enough to die. And Tactile Frostbite, of course, stepped in to grab the blue flag. He's not messing around. Uh, there was a force wall put up there by someone. Tactical that? Frostbite uh, making his way back. Uh, and they're just gonna walk into another victory. They take this round, UMM two to zero. Three. We begin round three with Space Monkey already navigating his way through the temple tunnels. Okay, AX is gonna set himself up to guard the red flag here, which is a pretty good idea because uh, the blue team seems to be grabbing the flag with remarkable certainty. Yeah, I wonder if Space Monkey's going for the flag. Do you think so? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Space Monkey's going to do. Uh, yeah. what? I, I have no idea. Uh, he, he's wondering. Maybe he's just going to uh, calmly try and talk it out with him. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. No. Kill no. and then uh, grab the flag. Yeah. yeah, grab, grab, yeah. Kill and grab. Yeah. Kill and grab. Kill and grab. You know, um, uh, I'd like to say something uh, witty and useful here, but uh, this is kind of becoming rather routine. It really uh, is. AX is trying to hit him with something. Oh! And instead and, gets and hit himself. Gets hit himself yeah. yeah, that was a rocket. Uh, I believe so. Rocket of death. Mm. You know, Space Monkey does rocket as he rockets right back towards the goal. And Space Monkey uh, gets the first team capture mm -hmm. uh, for UMM. All right. Space Monkey, uh, meanwhile, is just kind of looking around, tactical frostbite, smacking down the, uh, who is that there that's got the flag? Doesn't really matter because they're not going to keep it. No. 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 But he, again, he's using that I'm going to jump around and maybe you can't hit me uh, tactic, which does no good. At yeah, it all. worked just about as well this time as it did all the other times that yeah. they've tried it. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, well, that was awesome. And certain rushes in there and kills everyone. In Jedi, we won because uh, we had a really strong defense. That was our main focus. And um, I always say, you know, you know what is it? best offense is a good defense, so that's the way it worked, and it worked quite well. Well, UMM took our first game point. Can Team Judgment Day make a comeback in our second game, Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries? Find out when Arena returns.